Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the unit circle and the quadrantal angles. When we say unit circle, it is a circle centered at the origin with the radius equal to 1. So a circle centered in the origin. So our origin has a coordinates of 0, 0 with radius equal to 1. So if our radius is 1, we can get the following coordinates. So if this is 1, that will give us 1, 0. This one, 0, negative 1. This coordinate, negative 1, 0. And this is 0, negative 1. Okay, that is our unit circle. Now, recall the definition of quadrantal angles. These are the angle with terminal sides located in x or y axis. So that's x axis. So our angle here is 0. y axis, we have 90. Here we have 180. We have 270. We have 360. We have 4. 50, we have 5, 40, and we have 6, 30, and so on. Or simply, the multiples of 90 in our quadrants. Now, these are the following that you need to know. Note in our coordinate, x and y, our sign represents our ordinate and our cosine represent our abscissa or x and tangent we have the ratio of sine over x or y over x now to use this using our unit circle and quadrantal angle let's say you have the given find the value of sine 180 degrees so in this case, you don't need to use calculator. So locate 180 degrees. So 180 is located here. Then sine. Sine indicates our y. So in our coordinate, this is our x and this is y. The value of y here is 0. So that means sine 180 is equal to 0. Second example. When we say we have cosine 270 degrees, locate 270, so 270, and our coordinate, we have x and y, cosine. What is cosine? Cosine is x, so the value of x here is 0. 0. Number 3, what if we have sine 0 or let's say sine um, 90 degrees so locate 90 90 so this is our x and y sine indicates our y so y here is negative 1 so sine 90 is negative 1 for example, let's say find the value of tangent 360 degrees. Where is tangent? Uh, where is 360? 360. So we have x and y. Tangent is y over x. So y 0 over x is 1. 0 over 1, that is zero next number five let's say we have tangent 90 degrees tangent is y negative one over tangent is zero okay so negative one over zero that will give us undefined 
or in your calculator, math error or syntax error. Now for your assignment or your task, verify the following using your calculator. Just press sine 180, is it equal to zero? Cosine 270, is it equal to zero? Sine 90, is it equal to negative one? Tangent 360, is it equal to zero? And tangent 90, is it equal to not error undefined? Now, do that in your calculator and you will find out or you will be amazed when you insert that in your calculator. Now, get your calculator and let us verify if the following answers are correct. So we have sine 180. So if you don't have scientific calculator, you can download the app uh, NC and CalCFX in the App Store or uh, Play Store. So sine 180, so sine 180 equals sine, that is zero. Next, cosine 270, cosine 270, cosine 270, zero. Sine 90, so sine 90, that is one. Sine 90, oh, I'm sorry for this. This is located in our, this must be positive one. So this is must be positive one, okay. So zero positive one. Next, tangent 360. Tangent 360, that is zero. And tangent 90, we have complex infinity or undefined. So that's the application of the unit circle and the quadrantal angle. So, uh, so we have a mistake in our lecture a while ago. So this must be zero and positive one. Thank you for watching Senior Paolo TV.